good wishes to all of you in lakshmikant indian polity 21st chapter of this book was cabinet committees features of cabinet committees the following are the features of cabinet committees they are extra constitutional in emergence in other words they are not mentioned in the constitution however the rules of business provide for their establishment they are of two types standing and ad hoc the former are of the permanent nature while the later are of a temporary nature the ad hoc committees are constituted from time to time to deal with the special problems they are disbanded after this task is completed they are set up by the prime minister according to the exigencies of the time and requirements of the situation hence their number nomenclature and composition varies varies from time to time their membership varies from 3 to 8 they usually include only cabinet ministers however the non cabinet ministers are not debarred from their membership they not only include the ministers in charges of subjects covered by them but also include other scenario ministers they are mostly headed by the prime ministers sometimes other cabinet ministers particularly the home minister of or the finance minister also acts as their chairman but in case the prime minister is a member of a committee he invariably presides over it they not only sort out issues and formulate proposals for the con- consideration of the cabinet but also take decisions however the cabinet can review their decision they are an organizational device to reduce the enormous workload of the cabinet they also facilitate in depth examination of policy issues and effective coordination they are based on the principles of division of labor and effective delegation list of cabinet committees in 1994 there were the following 13 cabinet committees cabinet committee on political affairs cabinet committee on natural calamities cabinet committees on parliamentary affairs appointment appointments committee of the cabinet cabinet committee on accommodation cabinet committee on foreign investment cabinet committee on drug abuse control cabinet committee on prices cabinet committee on minority welfare cabinet committee on economic affairs cabinet committee on trade and investment cabinet committee on expenses cabinet committee on infrastructure in 2013 the following 10 cabinet committees were in existence cabinet committee on economic affairs cabinet committee on prices cabinet committee on political affairs appointments committee of the cabinet cabinet committee on security cabinet committee on world trade organization wto matters cabinet committee on investment cabinet committee on unique identification authority of india related issues cabinet committee on parliamentary affairs cabinet committee on accommodations at present 2019 the following eight cabinet committees are functional cabinet committee on political affairs cabinet committee on economic affairs appointments a committee of the cabinet cabinet committee on security cabinet committee on parliamentary affairs cabinet committee on accommodation cabinet committee on investment and growth cabinet committee on employment and skill development functions of cabinet committees the following four are the more important cabinet committees the political affairs committee committee deals with all policy matters pertaining to domestic and foreign affairs the economic affairs committee directs and coordinates the government uh, governmental activities in the economic sphere appointments committee decides all higher level appointments in the central secretariat public enterprises banks and financial institutions parliamentary affairs committee looks after the progress of government business in the parliament the first three committees are chaired by the prime minister and the last one by the home minister of all the cabinet committees the most powerful is the political affairs committee often described as a super cabinet groups of ministers in addition to cabinet committees several groups of ministers gvms are constituted to look into different issues subjects some of these gvms are empowered to take decisions on behalf of the cabinet whereas the others make recommendations on the recommendations to the cabinet the institution of gvms has become a viable and effective instrument of coordination among the ministers these are ad hoc bodies formed to give recommendations to the cabinet on certain emergent issues and critical problem areas ministers heading the 
concerned ministers are in, inducted into the relevant GOMs and when the advice is criticized, they are disbanded. The second administrative reforms commission of India 2005 to 2009 made them following observations and recommendations with respect to the working of the GOMs. The commission observed that the constitution of a large number of GOMs has resulted in many GOMs not being able to meet regularly to complete their work that thus just leading to significant delays on many major issues. The commission felt that more selective use of institution of GOMs would perhaps lead to more effective coordination particularly if they are empowered to arrive at a decision on behalf of the cabinet with the time limit limits that are prescribed for completing the work entrusted to them. The commission recommended that there is need to ensure that the existing coordination mechanism of GOM function effectively and helps in early resolution of issues. Selective but effective use of GOMs with a clear mandate and prescribed time limits would be helpful. Notes and References For example, the Emergency Committee was set up in 1962 after the Chinese invention. Second Administration Reforms Commission Government of India Report on Organizational Structure of Government of India 2009, page 136. This commission was headed by Veerappa Moili a senior Congress leader and former Karnataka Chief Minister. Ramesh K. Arora and Rajni Goyal, Indian Public Administration, New Age International Publishers, 3rd edition, 2013, PP 238-239. 2nd Administrative Reforms Commission, Government of India, Report on Organizational Structure of Government of India, 2009, PP 136-137 and 140. Thank you.